Uh, this one's a little scary for us because we have uh, <laughs> on account done of this. the prions. We we done this. <laughs> I kind of did it. I kind of did. Nope. It. You no. According to this, you did it. Oh. Yep. Explain. So a 61 year old man was admitted to a hospital presenting with cognitive impairment, uh, sudden schizophrenia. I have that? all of these. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and loss of the ability to walk on his own. And then five months later, he died. Uh, so okay. he deteriorated. Uh, does this get? Uh, this so. is pretty gruesome. Is there a backstory to why? Yep. Uh, so as it turns out, they did brain scans after he died, and they found uh, transmissible spongiform encephalopathy. That's a which is like a Swiss cheese in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Little holes all over. I've and, always uh, been a cheddar guy. <laughs> Me too. And Sharp so, cheddar. <laughs> so known as Creutzfeldt Jakob disease. Uh, it is the human form of mad cow disease. Oh. Oh. It was a big deal in the 80s and 90s in the UK because of beef, because they were feeding cows, ground up other cows, and that's how they contracted it. <laughs> that's so dark. Um, so this guy, they found out that he had this, and they're like, what's going on with that? It, wasn't, it, happened. it wasn't from eating other humans, was it? No. Okay. Maybe. No. Uh, we did that. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story. Um, <laughs> don't tell anybody about that. Um, so they talked to the guy's family, and as it turns out, he's an avid hunter, and he squirrel hunts, loves squirrel hunting, and eats a lot of squirrel. Well, they've determined that he ate the brain, which is how this disease is spread through the exposure of infected tissue from the brain. This is starting to make sense. They're not sure if he ate the whole brain or just he ate the whole brain. it contaminated he, he the meat the that brain. he ate. I'm saying he did. Um, so it's spread via prions, which are proteins in the in the brain. Okay. And they they naturally do their own thing in the brain, but these ones for whatever reason got folded or uh, something happened weird, and then once that happens to that protein, other proteins do it too, and it spreads like a virus or like a bacteria, and it, it causes all these weird things, and it takes anywhere from a year to decades to actually form in your head, and uh, yeah, so. We, we and it, it killed this guy off in five right? months. We, as a joke, as a competition, <laughs> hunted squirrel and said, we're going to, whoever gets the least amount of squirrels on this trip has to eat squirrel brain. And because we, I heard it was a delicacy in, like, Louisiana and stuff. Like, it's supposed to be a delicacy. So I was like, I, all right, well, then it sounds gross, but we'll do it. By the way, it looks grosser than it tastes. And of the three people <laughs> in the competition, we all got one. So we all had to eat it. You guys did it? Yeah, we ate yeah. brain. Well, so looks you're like you're going to die from picking time bomb. Bomb. Our friend Scott and I ate it. He, it touched his tongue, and then he went. It was a texture. Got, it was but a texture. it's too late. It touched your tongue, and that's it. How'd you cook it? It was a texture. A little thing bit of me. salt, pepper, garlic in a in a pan with butter, <laughs> didn't help. Oh <laughs> my gosh, so, that sounds like the worst. So, need, needless to say, uh, we ate it, and apparently we could die. What's the timeline on how we'll know when? Uh, anywhere from one year to decades. Prions. <laughs> you cannot. You cannot boil them. <laughs> expose them to alcohol, acid, radiation. It infects brains uh, that have been sitting in formaldehyde, like s specimens, whatever, for decades. And if you touch it, you'll still get it. We Can't ate it. want to go get tested. We ate it. Can't test it until after you die. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. This is so much fun now. I really wish you wouldn't have done. <laughs> we got Swiss cheese in the brain. Yeah, you very well could be dying slowly. right now. <laughs> to be clear, this is why I don't let Jeff produce the TV show, because he was the one with the squirrel brain idea. No, 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 absolutely not. <laughs> was he? I was 100% against it. Oh, yeah, you that was me. me. You that talked was, me into that's it. That's right. I did see it was a delicacy. But this is a dark story, and now I'm worried about dying, and I learned that on the number one podcast.